hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's your girl alice aka that's gilly chick so guys today in this video i'll be showing you guys how to make this rose um with ashoke so you can use this for your zara cap to beautify your zara cap or you can use this as a headband so sit back watch learn and enjoy i hope this is something you want to learn how to make so the measurements i'll be using for this rose is um 50 inches so i'm just going to be using one i wear just one of this so i'll fold the edges each of the edges by each side i'll take it down to my sewing machine and sew it down guys so beautiful people if it's your first time here you're welcome to my channel my name is alice aka that gilly chick like i said earlier on i am an ibadon based makeup and gilly artist i make beautiful brother hand fans I make auto gilly i'm a skill acquisition trainer i do online classes and physical classes as well guys so stay tuned to my channel subscribe to my channel if you like what you see you want to keep getting amazing content like this stay tuned to my channel guys hit on the subscription button like this video share this video with someone let me hear your thoughts concerning this video comment down in the comment section so guys you can see i was trying to practice to make i not conform my hand for our presence <laughs> so i actually did a little practice to see if i was going to get it perfectly because sometimes when you're doing this on camera eh, the thing will be <laughs> it will just start messing you up messing with your mind so this is how i'm going to start you're going to start from your left hand side start making this thing from your left hand side and you are creating as if you're creating a fan you know grill work for my lap so i decided to go over to the cement to the tiles to continue so you can see how i'm slanting see the lines i created earlier on when i was practicing is still showing to tell you that i'm not perfect most times i do this video i practice them before i come online so that i'll not show you guys rubbish i have to make sure that i'm showing you guys what is on point what will be useful so you see how i'm slanting it as if you are creating fan so good thing is if you are good with tying gilly this is going to be very easy for you or you're a creative person you do a lot of crafts work this will be very easy for you to make but if this is your first time you're just a learner take your time do it gradually gently you're going to get it eventually so i'm just folding it like this and i'm covering it and i'll start tacking with my needle and thread i'm actually using this i'm actually making this for a zara cap because the clients wanted a rose by the side of the cap so i decided okay why not show my people so this is the tutorial guys enjoy the rest of the video so friends you can see how i'm battling with my needle and thread that's how much stress i go through each time i'm making an uso gili or i'm making any kind of um fancy creative stuff using needle and thread i cannot count the number of times i usually press my hand with needle not because i'm being careless but sometimes before you know oopsie you don't <laughs> it has already pierced through your finger and you continue so this is our work isn't easy so kudos to all of you out there doing craft work doing hand work sewing doing also gilly well done ekushe <laughs> also good pay one day very soon so i just keep tacking see the way i'm tacking this thing and how do i explain it you're not going to tack all of it together if not the fan effect or the rosy effect will not be showing so you there's a way you know you see the way that inside is round 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 that's the place you take your time to pack to tack like everything together but once you start tacking the fan you just pick one at the edge how do i explain this thing by just watch you understand guys watch carefully you will understand do not forget to give this video a thumbs up guys please like this video and share this video and oh yes guys thank you so much twelve thousand subscribers i really do love and appreciate you guys i do not take this for granted 
thank you so so much god bless you all and the rest of the tutorial uh, let's continue so we'll continue now So guys i hope you're understanding what i am doing so just take your time then do it gently so now when you are sewing you pick one pleat go back pick the other pleat go back like how do i even explain just watch guys you understand you are not going to pick all the pleats together if not the fan effect will not show it to be flat but if you actually want your rows to be bigger than this instead of using the measurement we use of using 50 you can go and use 70 in case you have a client that really wants it really big so make it 70 instead of 50 so you can see what i'm doing be careful with your hand guys I'm almost done and I'm going to show you guys how it's the final look looks like so this is it this is just how it is and my zara cap i didn't bother to show you guys how to make a zara cap because i've showed you guys in my previous video which is like last week how to make a zara cap so go and check it out and i'll drop the link in the description box or in the comment section for you to get go and check it out so this is how i'm going to attach it together so friends this brings us to the end of this tutorial thank you guys for watching do not forget to subscribe to my channel like this video share this video guys thank you see you guys next time Bye-bye.